What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, got a quick tool haul for you. Go through a couple uh, Snap-on merchandise, the tools I got the last maybe two or so weeks. Um, some tool accessories, and I bought one off the Cornwell truck. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. guys so I picked up a few things these last couple of weeks and like I said I got one off the Cornwell truck but <clears throat> hey whatever um, you guys been following the channel you know I picked up that uh, snap-on smart smoke machine great machine I mean this thing has saved me so much time I mean I, I'd like to say the tool already had paid for itself but great tool but it's got a lot of accessories with it, so I've been kind of picking away at some of the accessories I want to get for it. One of the main ones that I was looking at and wanted to get was the CO2 tank. It's got an option for, so I went ahead and picked up that. 20 ounce tank, pretty much a paintball CO2 tank. Same tank, I probably have some of these already for my paintball gun. Different sizes and all that. So you got 20 ounce tank, and then it comes with the regulator. So you can hook this thing on the back and Instead of running shop air through it, you could run CO2 through the, you know, into the tank. That way you're not a bomb or in danger. And plus, uh, if you get sparks in the gas tank, oxygen and fuel vapor doesn't go well together. But this is obviously made in China, <clears throat> but a tank's a tank. You know, I probably could get a couple of these. I could probably use my paintball ones, have a couple on standby, um, because I think they, uh, this thing was pretty pricey through Snap-on. I'll put the part number down in the description. But... Get this thing set up on here and uh, have that. And all I need to do is, now I kind of wish I didn't get rid of my NICAD batteries for the back side of that because that's the only thing it uses. You could use that smoke machine out in the parking lot with no shop air or, you know, no power, basically wireless. So I got that. That's the first one. Came in a little box and all that stuff. Here's the box for it. And then part number on it is right there. You guys see that? So pretty cool. Get this all, get this one set up on there. And then, all right, real quick, guys. So looking at this thing, the CO2 tank a little closer. It's actually made by the exact same company my my paintball equipment's made by. So these tanks, the ones for my paintball gear, the ones I have at home, will definitely work for it. Um, and I got a bunch of them, so I'll have so I'll have a couple extras. I'll see how many 20 ounce bottles I got get those filled up, have a couple backups, and I believe the, th the threads are the same too. So that's kind of cool. That way I could have a backup CO2 tank, even though the, the paintball place is only right down the street from here. So getting them filled would be easy, but how this thing works pretty much, you got the little valve opening here. I'm hoping this uh, is the same fitting here. I know when they sent the tank, they sent uh, two different kinds two different coupler kinds so I don't know if this thing's gonna work on here but this is kind of how it goes on no that's how it goes on the back there but I'm gonna have to change the uh, the coupler it looks like to the one the ones that I use here at the shop because this is made for the bigger one I want to say so that's kind of a bummer. The one they send you is for the one I don't use. It's like a bigger style one. And that's the coupler they send you. So I'll have to switch out the coupler end to the standard one that I use here at the shop in order to use it for the shop air. Or I could switch it out and just use CO2, but I like the option of having you know, anything I need to use, shop air if I need to use it, or CO2. But I'll have to get this thing switched out. I think I got one in the toolbox, but that's pretty much how it works. It just snaps onto the back like that. You got the regulator so you can tell how full the tank is. And then as soon as I figure out what I'm gonna do with the NICAD batteries, this is where you put the batteries. You can actually unplug this and have it completely, you know, the only wire hanging off it is your smoke wire. The next two accessories I got for it, one is made by Bluepoint EELD GAS CAP. It's to test straight at the gas, the filler deck at the gas tank. 
Uh, three different kinds in here. Like I said, it's made by Blue Point, but uh, I'm not even exactly sure. Yeah, it's just a rubberized seal over, so you got to worry about you know the sticky double-sided sticky tapes and sticking it on there. It's pretty much just got the rubber. It's like a silicone, so you get a nice good seal on it. And then it's got three different sizes, probably for the most popular filler mix. So I picked up that one. <clears throat> this one wasn't too badly priced. I'll throw the part number to this one in the description. But made by Blue Point, got that one for it. And then I got, of course, the cover for it. An expensive tool like that, you know, you want to try to protect it. So it comes with a nice little, uh, reminds me of like a, uh, speaking of barbecue season, it reminds me of like a, a barbecue grill cover or an AC cover. But it's got a cover for it, fits right on there. And then the handle, it's got a little Velcro where the handle could come through. This will probably, I'm not sure if this will work on the manual ones. It says Smart Smoke on here, but maybe they make another one for the for the manual uh, smoke machine, snap-on smoke machine. But I've seen them, and I had to get it, seen it around. So get that set up on there. Nice one. This one was pretty cheap, maybe 50 bucks or so. I'll uh, I'll leave a part number to this one too in the description. E E L D 500 C B R. Probably short for cover. So see how this thing fits on there. Got everything wrapped up nice. This thing should just slip over it. Wonder if you got to take off the wire for it too, or if it's going to fit. Ah, it fits. Good stuff. Got the little opening for the handle here. Nice and tight fit. The cable's tucked up in there. There we go. That's pretty much the case for it. Keep all the dust off of it. Pop this thing up in the toolbox. Good to go. And then the next two I got, had to check out, is the, uh, the new updated Power Probe 3 version. It's uh, the Power Probe 3 EZ. It's the new version. It's new and improved. Uh, I'll be definitely doing a uh, review video on this one. What I'll probably do is uh, get this one out there, get used to it, see what all the features and uh, what it's all about, and maybe do a comparison to all my Power Probes, and uh, uh, maybe do maybe do a Power Pro on the giveaway because obviously I don't need these many Power Probes. If this Power Pro 3 replaces my original Power Pro 3, maybe I'll do the Power Pro 3 on a giveaway. But it seems pretty cool. Still got the long cable. It's supposed to have a lot of new features built within the tool. The screen is obviously bigger. Um, there's bi-directional buttons, so there is, I think, maybe injector testing and things like that. We'll get into it on another video, but briefly went over the specs and features of it and uh, had to pick it up. Got to give it, got to check it out. And it's got the resettable fuse on the side, it looks like. Came with the long extension accessories. And then the... Uh, 12 volt cigarette adapter and then the regular alligator clips. So I'll pick this one up. I'll uh, I'll leave an Amazon link to where to get this thing. Uh, pretty cheap on Amazon down in the description. And then it came with a nice little case and all that stuff. Get, be looking out for a comparison video. Compare all the power probes I got and uh, we'll run through them all. See which one's best for you guys. And then I got also for the made by power probe the five volt reference adapter. You guys probably seen these around. Uh, I know Snap-on makes a version, a black version. Well, Snap-on doesn't make it, Power Probe makes it for Snap-on, but it's a black version you could get from your Snap-on guy. But uh, I picked this one up. So now we got the five volt reference. I'll show you guys how to use this one too, maybe when we do the review on it. But part number on this, PPT5VA. And it's just a little adapter you could hook to the top of it. You can see that way you can get your test your five volt reference without damage your PCM or things like that when you're testing some of these sensors. All right, and then the next ones were pretty much my uh, freebies. I got the uh, Snap-on merchandise. It's grill season, so obviously got the uh, Burger Press. Pretty cool. Definitely. Uh, built well. Looks like it comes with a little handle and then you got uh, 
your actual burger press that it trademarks your burgers for you so it makes your uh, makes your ten dollar hamburger into a fifty dollar hamburger or cheeseburger I guess with a Snap-on logo on there so that's pretty cool Snap-on guy threw me that and I entered in to win the grill and then of course the uh, upright roasting pan you guys probably seen these on your Snap-on truck I don't know if you could buy these things separately I think you just gotta enroll into the raffle thing but can't wait to check this one out I'm not I'm not a cooker but you know maybe the wife will dig it outside this summer definitely put this to use not like the popcorn machine that I just let sit but gotta have your snap-on merchandise and then my snap-on guy also gave me the uh, some glasses these are actually pretty cool they're one liter you fit like a four pack of beer in this thing or whatever you drink tea water but uh, these things are huge and heavy definitely built well just more stuff I could add to the snap-on collection I lost my uh, ice cream scooper so I gotta ask him about that so that's that one the part number on this one is SSX19P105KO this one I believe you can buy separately but he threw me this one obviously because he takes care of me All right. getting to the one I got from Cornwell I know what you guys are thinking you know JRC54 buying off the Cornwell truck but the guy is a pretty cool dude so I figure you know I throw him a bone plus uh, what I got here I thought was pretty cool <clears throat> another hood light so I got another light and this one you guys can see that's a hood light with pretty much those monster uh, flashlights clipped onto it so they are removable you got pretty much two flashlights and this thing does fold up pretty nice but I'm gonna get this thing open up and show you guys looks like it comes with uh, the instructions you can see how it folds up compact real nice light so it comes with two chargers you could charge both the lights at the same time you could use one light for a hood light and then use, use one light for a hand light so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a three in one but I definitely like the way it folded up nice and compact Get this thing out of the bag here So pretty much here it is in the compact position and then you could open it up it's got magnets on here and then you could open it up into a full hood light you guys can see and then it's also got the adjustment on here and then you can remove the lights and just use them I just dropped it and use them as normal flashlights it's got some decent lumens too I think 1700 the box said but I thought it was cool you know and then these lights are obviously have features in themselves it's got the hook I don't think these things have magnets on them but I got a lot of LEDs on there so I picked out picked up this one um, can't remember what I paid for it but definitely uh, definitely a nice hood light you can never have too many lights so and I could use these as just uh, the regular handheld lights too I used to like these little monster style uh, flashlights or whoever made them so pretty nice and then it does have magnets so you could slap it onto the side of a rack if you need to and then it's also got the hooks on here that are adjustable on both sides this side and this side not like the snap-on one where only one side comes out and then and then to break it down you pretty much just push here in the center fold it and it goes back to compact you can even hang it like that and have light light facing at you just on maybe a corner of the rack these are adjustable Oop. these things are adjustable so you can hang it on the side and then just turn the lights on full brightness and have it just hang there kind of like a little spotlight or a hang light so pretty cool lots of features on this one that's why I had to pick it up give it a try so pretty cool Cornwell pickup 
whatever. All right, guys, so wrap this one up. That's the uh, last couple week tool haul. I know I missed a couple videos these last couple days. Just been busy at the shop. We actually hired a, another new guy here. Last new guy didn't work out. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, kids these days, but uh, we'll see if this Cornwall light holds up. Put this thing through the ringer. We'll see if uh, you know it breaks down or whatever. Seems seems nice, but I got to throw the Cornwall guy a bone. He's he's a pretty cool guy. Still waiting on the uh, a couple more accessories for the smoke smoke machine. I'm waiting on the the camera lens that works with uh, Snap on camera. It's got the UV black light that picks up the the dye solution. Still waiting on that. And then uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for the uh, power probe comparison video. You guys know I got all the power probes. We're going to put them all in a row, compare them all. Like I said, we'll do one on a giveaway. So if you guys need one or know anybody, make sure to like, share the video, stay subscribed. We'll catch you in the next one. Signing out.